Hey friends, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric. Thank you for so, so much for joining me. If you're new to the channel, it's so great to meet you. Welcome. Um, it's, I'm very happy to see you. And if you're returning, hey, welcome back. It's great to see you as well. So today I am bringing you guys the twin flame messages for this week for March 5th through the 11th. I'm doing it a little bit differently this time. Um, in an effort to help us shift from this view of um, seeing ourselves as separate, as in feminine and masculine, um, I'm, tr I'm doing it as a combined reading today. Um, and so I'll be doing, I'm doing the same spreads, but I'm doing it more for, um, in the scope of the masculine and feminine energies within us, because we all have these energies within us. Um, I, am a, I am a divine feminine, um, but I still have divine masculine energies in me that I often resonate with when I watch the divine masculine videos for, from other readers. So, um, and what's going on right now is the twins, especially the divine feminine, um, are really being guided to detach um, you know, from our twins and from, um, uh, from uh, specific timelines, things working out a specific way. So in an effort to help facilitate that, I'm doing this combined reading and it is going to be for divine feminine and divine masculine, but the scope of it is going to be understanding the challenges and what we're going through with both of, our uh, both of those energies within us. So that's why I'm doing it as a combined reading. Okay, um, and that's how I recommend you view this reading. And when listening to the messages, try and see how it resonates with you from both a masculine and feminine side. Yes, because ultimately, once you, when you place your focus within in this way, you will help yourself achieve greater union within yourself, and greater you will further facilitate wholeness within yourself. And that is part of the journey. Um, especially for those of us who are in separation. We are in separation so that we can work on healing um, the wounds that we have so that we can become whole again, so that we can step into union with our twin as a whole and complete being, yeah? Other than that, just a little bit of shop talk. <laughs> um, if you would like to get a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box down below. If this uh, message really resonates with you um, and you want to make an energ energetic donation, I would greatly appreciate that. It does help me keep the channel going. Um, these are, these, you know, the videos I put up are for free and I love doing it for you guys. Um, but, you know, if you do want to return the favor and make an energetic exchange, exchange in the form of a donation to the channel, again, I would greatly appreciate that. I am not uh, making any suggestions on what you should donate. I'm just asking you to follow your heart and do what you feel is best. Any sort of gesture, it, it, it serves its purpose in the exchange. So I, I greatly appreciate that. And I just saw 333 on the counter. So haha, <laughs> yay, cooperation, working together, woohoo. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. So let's get to the message. I have two decks here. The deck on the right is going to be um, the going to talk about the divine feminine energies. Deck on the left is going to be the divine masculine energies. If you're familiar with my readings, you know that I usually do this for the mirror reading. I'm not doing a mirror reading today. I am doing the normal weekly spread that I've been doing, but I am going to um, use two separate decks just to make sure, you know, just to I just find it to be easier that way and I like doing it. So we're going to start with the Divine Feminine. All right. Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the Divine Feminine Collective for the Divine Feminine Energies. What's the Divine Feminine Energies? What are the Divine Feminine Energies uh, facing this week? What are our challenge? What are we up against? What are the... What are the best messages for us this week? Understand that this is a, um, a general reading. So I'm speaking to a lot of different people, 444 on the counter. Haha, <laughs> yay. Um, and also, these just because it's coming out this week doesn't mean that these messages are just for this week. These messages are timeless. And so for the feminine energy so far, we have two cards that I wanted to pop. 
pop out here. Yeah, we've got the magician and we've got the moon. So uh, divine feminine energies are dealing with learning or becoming comfortable with, I'm picking up becoming comfortable with their powers of manifestation. Um, and it's um, no coincidence that we have the magician here, but the magician is a, is depicted as a male figure um, because it's the masculine energies that go forward and take the action to make things happen. And so as defined feminines or the, the, the feminine energy right now, the feminine collective is kind of coming to terms with that. They're learning to understand it. They're learning to work with it. They're learning to use it to their greatest good, their greatest potential, but also they're starting to come to a point where they're working towards using it for the greater good of all. However, there is a bit of illusion around it depicted by the moon. Um, in some cases, there are some feminines out there um, or there are some people who are working with their feminine energies or are feeling their, uh, developing their feminine energies. And when it comes to um, masculine energies or uh, masculine um, situations, I hope that's coming across correctly. There is a bit of illusion around it. There is a little, a bit of darkness and they're working towards, um, um, you know, illuminating it there. I'm also hearing that there's a bit of fear surrounding some of this. Um, but then also at the same time, working very closely, I guess this is going to be a piece, this is a piece of advice. Working very closely with your intuition is going to help you manifest this, um, this uh, reality. I'm hearing this energetic reality of being able, of being the magician, of being a master manifester, of really coming to terms with and being able to work effectively and efficiently with your powers of manifestation. Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Let's see what else comes through for the message. But that was something that the universe wanted to bring forward for the feminine energy so far. And I, yeah, I resonate with that too. Um, you know, I'm really, I'm really working on as a, as someone that identifies as a feminine energy. I, uh, um, I am really becoming more and more comfortable with you know, my masculine energies and my, my, my abilities to manifest and, you know, and, and all that stuff. And yeah, there was a lot of fear around it before. For some reason, I just felt like I couldn't do it or I was never going to be successful, but all of that is changing now. All right, so for the feminine energies, for the divine feminine, those of us who identify as divine feminines and for all of us individuals, because we all it contain feminine energies, divine feminine. There is a divine feminine with you, within you, even if you're a divine masculine and vice versa. Yeah. So what are the messages for us this week, spirit? Okay, we're gonna cut the deck now. All right, guys. So for the feminine energies, Underlying, yeah, the underlying, huh. Okay. Our overall energies right now, we have the Eight of Swords. Feeling stuck. Um, afraid. Um, so this is definitely in relation to you know, this whole manifesting thing, learning to manifest, coming to terms with your masculine energies in a way. We also have the Ace of Pentacles, the Ten of Pentacles, <laughs> the Two of Pentacles, and finally the Sun. All right, so let's talk about this feminine, feminine energies, divine feminine. This has everything to do with what came out, the flyers that came out in, um, in the magician and the moon. We are, excuse me, the divine feminine is coming to terms with her masculine energies. And for many of you, uh, you've been up in your head about it, feeling stuck. Now, a lot, a lot of what I'm picking up here is for many of you, it's been the negative 
perception of masculinity that you've seen and experienced in your life that's helping you be in this eight of swords situation. I'll give you an example from my life. I have always identified as a feminine energy. Um, and when it came to masculine energies and it came to acting in masculine ways or, you know, doing certain masculine type things, I always had this resentment around it. I always had this like, oh God, I don't, I don't want to be like that. I don't want to be like some of the masculine examples that I've seen in my life. Um, and you know, the, it just, it doesn't resonate well with me. And it was because of this, um, twisted view of the masculine that I've had that we, many of us see on a day-to-day -day basis. And so that made it difficult for me to balance that out. Okay. It wasn't until, you know, I started coming to terms with certain things and I started to look at men and masculinity in a different way that I was able to cut myself out of that eight of swords energy. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. So when it comes to this situation right now, divine feminine, what you're going through is you're working on starting new. You're working on manifesting. You're working on creating that new reality for yourself through the vision of the 10 of pentacles that you have, the vision of the 10 of pentacles that you want to create for your life. And this, and, and, and so in doing that, you're balancing. Okay, you're making it work. You're juggling the pieces. You're you're trying to make you're trying to understand how to balance this stuff out so that you can reach the ultimate material um, goal that you have depicted by the Ten of Pentacles. But again, there's fear around this. There is there's there's a there's feeling like you're stuck. And yeah, this is a woman here. So this is a feminine energy here that's stuck in her head about. I'm hearing about her masculine energy, especially when it comes to, excuse me, many of us that have had some pretty nasty and negative experiences with our, with our divine masculines. It's like, well, I don't want to be anything like him. Well, no one's asking you to be like him because in those situations, he was acting from a twisted view of what masculinity is. That's all. <laughs> I mean, it really is that simple, guys. It really is that simple. And so that's where unconditional love steps in, yeah? But ultimately throughout all of this, number one, you'll be fine. You can cut yourself out of that. The Eight of Swords is like, she literally can get herself out of there on her own. She doesn't need anybody else to help her out. She's just gotta free herself, choose to not choose to not see things in such a fearful way. Choose to, to, choose to understand what the true um definition of masculine energy is come to terms with that yourself you don't even have to and spirit is guiding me source is guiding me to say to you don't even look to the outside world to figure that out look within ask me god just said <laughs> ask me i'll tell you <laughs> you know but throughout all of that you've got the sun the sun is shining illumination is here not even not even i'm not even going to say illumination is coming i'm saying illumination is here you just got to let it happen. You just got to let the warmth of the sun hit you and everything will be okay. All right. Um, I should have said this before, but this might be a long video because I feel like there might be a lot we have to talk about. But anyway, moving on. In your first position, we have your current surrounding energies, the nine of wands. Yep. That makes sense. That, that really makes sense. Um, some of you may be feeling tired, worn down. I know I am. <laughs> I'm so tired. I'm really tired, guys. I've been crying all day and all night last night. There's just a lot going on. Just keep going. Just keep pushing. Everything's going to be fine. Um, you're almost there is what they're saying. You're almost there. And when it comes to learning to manifest, and if you're actively manifesting something and you're like, oh, God, when is this really going to happen? It's coming. Don't worry. Remember, the sun is shining. And just understand that it takes time. It takes some time. Even though time is an illusion, it does take some time. There is a little bit of lag between what you see in your mind and what you're creating mentally and the physical manifestation of it, you know, in 3D. All right? We're in denser, I mean, physically, we're in denser energy. So it takes a, a, takes a little more 
time and effort to get things to move, but it'll happen. It's coming. It's coming, guys. It's coming. Judgment. See? It's coming. I'm sorry. This is your second position. This is how, um, yeah, this is how you're seeing your twin. Okay? And in this case, yes, this is how you're seeing your twin. But in relation to, um, you know, in relation to, you know, how we're looking at this right now, how we're looking at the energies within us, both feminine and masculine, this is how the feminine energy is seeing um, or is responding, is relating to their masculine energies within them. Judgment, ascension, a higher calling. And to me, this is a call towards unity. It's, it's shedding the old past. It's shedding the old ways of seeing things about feminine, femininity and masculinity. And it's seeing, and it's, and it's adopting a brand new understanding of it. Um, take, see, uh, coming, ascending in a way towards a higher understanding of the feminine and the masculine. And especially within the twin flame journey, this is also leading you to see your counterpart in a different way. It's calling you to approach your relationship with your counterpart in a different way. Ultimately, because you're approaching your relationship with yourself in a different way, right? Next, we have where are you in relation to union? And now, and when I talk about union here, I'm talking about union within yourself. Ultimately, guys, please understand that this union within yourself is going to lead to union with your twin in the 3D world. Okay, so this is why I am stressing this so much. You're not going to be able to reach union with your twin until you are whole within yourself first. All right, so you have to let go of your twin. You have to. You got to let go of them. Just let them go. They'll be back. Letting go of them is not going to, is not the end, okay? But you need space to do your healing and make yourself whole. And so do they. So let it happen, all right? So the next message is um, where you are in relation to union within yourself. And we have the Seven of Swords. Now, this is not, um, I'm not picking up that Okay, for the most part, I'm not picking up that anyone's really acting like the Seven of Swords. There are some of you that are kind of like, are adopting a little bit of a Seven of Swords energy because it's like you're trying to avoid. You're trying to avoid union within yourself and just jump towards union with your twin. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Some of, our, some of you are doing that. And you're cheating yourself. So that's why it's coming up as the Seven of Swords, because you're, you're cheating yourself in that sense. You're missing out. On, you're, you're choosing to l miss out on a whole deep, deep um, part of this journey. And um, the more fragmented you are, um, the, the less you're going to be able to do, to, to, to do the things that you want to do, the less you're going to be able to manifest, be the magician and manifest the things that you truly want in your life. Because you're fragmented, you're broken, you're, you're, you're hurt, you're, you're damaged, you're battered and bruised, and you're not taking the time to heal yourself and pick yourself back up and say, no, I deserve better and change your life for the better. Stop cheating yourself, guys. Feminine energies, please stop cheating yourself. Learn to love yourselves for who you are. Accept yourselves for who you are. And damn it, if people cut you out or walk away from you or, or don't want to associate with you anymore, then excuse my language, but fuck them. You don't need that shit. Let them go. Stop cheating yourselves. So the other part of this message in the Seven of Swords is saying that some the divine feminine is starting to see in many ways just like the divine masculine did or may still be doing in many cases is starting to see how they've been cheating themselves how they've been leaving themselves on the back burner for the sake of everyone else don't do that yes be there for your families and those you care for and for the world at large but you got to be there for yourself first I mean, you really can't be as effective in the world for those around you if you're not whole to begin with, you know? I really hope that's making sense. I feel like it is, but still. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
All right. Next is um, next is what you want your twin to know. And I'm going to leave this as it is. I'm going to say what you want your counterpart to know. I'm going to leave that as it is. And it is ah, <laughs> the Four of Wands, Divine Feminine. And the Four of Wands is saying to me that you're telling your twin, I'm doing the work. I'm working towards this. Okay. Please believe me. I haven't forgotten about you. I still love you very, very much. I'm going to start crying. I still love you very, very much. And even though we're, we're still in separation and you feel me walking away a little bit, I'm not going too far. I'm just walking. I'm just, I'm just putting some distance so that, so that I can heal, so that you can heal, so that we can reform this foundation and come back together stronger than we were before. I'm trying really hard not to cry, guys. <laughs> All right. Um, in your fifth position, Divine Feminine, what you are, what you are, I mean, we know what the challenge is right now, but what are you facing right now? What is your greatest challenge right now for the feminine energies? The chariot. Yes, yes, yes. You're learning to move forward with yourself, with your passions, with your, with what you, what you know you want to do and be in this world. In some cases, you're learning about it. You're learning how to do it. In other cases, you're doing it. And you're moving quickly. You're balancing your positive, your negative, your yin, your yang, your masculine, your feminine, your light, your dark. You're bringing those into balance and you're using that balance to propel you forward. I like that a lot. And finally, um, hidden energies, what you may not be aware of, the three of wands. Um, <clears throat> these are the underlying energies, right? So in some, in mo for the most part, I do believe we are aware of this um, divine feminine, but it's more a matter of this is like the supporting energy. So it's not so much in our focus anymore because yes, we've made the decision. And so we're working towards, um, we're actively working towards getting to that. To getting to that decision that we've made so it's um it's in an underlying energy because that's kind of like the base the foundation it's the driving force so we're not so consciously focused on it right now but um i do see a mirror in the chariot and the three of wands the three of wands is like yeah the choice has been made so now i'm doing the work to get there and the chariot is is the um is the mask is what we're seeing is is how you are presenting this is how you are uh moving forward with this That's excellent. All right, Divine Feminine. Um, yeah, there it is. That's for the Divine Feminine. Um, and also, it, it, it's for the Divine Masculine, too, and their feminine energies. Okay? I think that's it, yeah. I'm debating. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure... I think I'm gonna. I'm, I I feel like I want to pull some oracle guidance, but I'm gonna do that at the end. I'm gonna do that at the end. So that's for there. It is divine feminine. That's that's your energy snapshot in balancing yourself. Okay. So let's get to the masculine energies now and divine feminines that are watching. Um, yes, this is this is going to be for the divine masculine, but this could also resonate with you too. Okay, because you have masculine energies within you. But we are going to use the other deck for that. I just want to give this a shuffle and clear it up a little bit. Okay. All right. Now, for the masculine energies, what's going on with you? Let's put it here. For the masculine energies. <laughs> Well, already we have the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So, and I really feel like I've been, I've been picking up lately that the masculine energies, the divine masculine really has been working towards balancing their um, feminine energies and getting in touch with their intuitive sides, getting in touch with their intuition and learning to under, learning to, to trust it more and listen to it more and follow its guidance. So that's good. 
Quote, Spirit, please make me a clear channel for the divine masculine energies and collectives. What are the best messages to bring forward for the masculine energies within this week of March 5th through the 11th? Thank you so much, Spirit. Divine masculine. Divine masculine. Divine masculine. Of course, of course, I'm trying to focus on the divine masculine collective, and the first thing I see is my twin's face. <laughs> Jeez, you guys, I've really been working on detaching lately, and the universe is just coming right back with putting his name everywhere, guys. Putting his name everywhere, repeating his name in my head. I'm getting triggered like crazy, like... That's part of the reason why I've been crying so much, because I've been getting triggered like crazy. Ugh, it's frustrating. But the triggers are happening so that we can heal. Okay? That is why that is why the universe triggers us. It's so that we can heal whatever is still not healed yet. And there, uh, and it's recently, it's come up. I'm sharing this because I feel like a lot of you divine feminines are going through this also. Lately, it's just been like this... It, it, it brought up this one thing that I really didn't even realize was I was still so hurt by. I thought I got over it, but nope. And let me tell you, this is, I think this really is like the core of everything. Because it is, so, oh God, just talking about it, it's like, it's so strong, you guys. It is so strong. Oh man, I'm working so hard to get through it, but it's it's rough, it's rough. It's rough. Okay, so Divine Masculine. One more shuffle for you. And let's cut the deck for the Masculine Energies. Overall, we're starting off with Temperance. Yeah, Divine Masculine, do it, man. <laughs> yeah. The Masculine Energies are really focused on balance. Really, really focused on balancing it. And in many cases, I feel like they are encouraging the feminine energies to work on this themselves as well. The divine masculine is the leader when it comes to the physical realm. Okay, in this in this um, in this uh, divine partnership between feminine and masculine and feminine, and the divine feminine is the leader in the spiritual realm. But the divine feminine um, has been naturally has been so much up in the ether because naturally that's where we like to be. That's where we feel the most comfortable and mainly in the 5D that we know we're in union in the 5D. So when we come down to earth and the 3D, we're like, well, why aren't we in union here? And wh why not? And in many cases, the feminine energies or the divine feminine energies have kind of been like the seven of swords, they've kind of been like not really wanting to do the work to come into unity within themselves. And I'm feeling like the masculine, and actually I saw this at one point during throughout the week, I think I was meditating or I was just like spacing out. And I saw the masculine energies and encouraging, the, I saw the divine masculine encouraging the divine feminine to really come into this balance within the 3D, saying I we need this we both need to do this before we can reach physical union. And the divine feminine is kind of resisting. Um, I mean, the divine masculine has their resistances in their own way. Yeah, don't get me wrong. But so does the divine feminine's resistance is really coming up in this need to detach and become balanced and whole within themselves. And the divine ma masculine is saying, please, please do this. We need you to do this. Okay. In the many of the same, much of the same way that the divine feminine was saying that to the divine masculine not too long ago, or in, even in some cases, is still saying that. You know what I mean? All right, temperance, five of pentacles, the king of wands. <laughs> I'm sorry, the king of wands. Ooh, the four of wands. And. Now, I, I started laughing because of the mirroring. I mean, the Four of Wands came up for the feminine energies, and here it is for the masculine energies. But look at how else they were mirroring, guys. The moon. Huh? 
That is so cool. And I'll explain in a second. Let's get back here, though. Temperance with the five of uh, coins, five of pentacles, the king of wands, and the four of wands. So um, no more feeling out in the cold, guys. There's no need for it. And I feel like most of that, uh, what I'm seeing right now is I'm seeing the king of wands, which I do see as the divine masculine. And he's looking at this five of pentacles. He's looking back on it and he's like, no more of that. I'm not going to be left to feel like that anymore. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to leave my twin out to feel like that anymore. Why? Because I want union too, says the divine masculine. But I'm starting to realize that I can't reach union if I don't do my work. Okay. And now the moon is coming up. Main, well, number one, because we are mirrors, divine mirrors to each other. And so with the, with the divine feminine having the sun come up with her energy saying, you know, illuminating things, saying everything is okay. Also, the sun is, um, uh, represents masculine, masculine energy, projection, the go-getter, the doing. The sun is supporting the divine feminine. Here, the moon is supporting the divine masculine. And the king, the queen of cups was on the bottom of the deck when I started shuffling. And I was saying the divine masculine is, is working on understanding his femininity, understanding his feminine side, coming to terms with his intuition, while the divine feminine is working on her manifesting abilities. Oh, God, this is beautiful. Like, you can't make this stuff up, guys. I love it. I really love it. Okay, so for the masculine energies... Um, in your current surrounding energies, you have, I know that's right, the Empress. This is another depiction of how the Divine Feminine can come out. Her counterpart being the Emperor. So, Divine Masculine, you are, some of you are dealing with, mm, uh, some of you are dealing with issues surrounding your relationship with your mother, um, healing that. I'm picking up for some of you because the Empress is right here on top of the five of coins. Some of you either grew up feeling left out in the cold or neglected by your mother. Or in this current moment, because of everything that's been going on with you lately, you've kind of shut your mother out. That's what I'm picking up for some of you. Um, but other than that, if it's not issues surrounding your relationship with your mother, it's, um, dealing, coming to terms with how you've, uh, you have shut out your feminine energies, your femininity, and you're kind you're reconnecting with it now. You are in fact saying no more feeling out in the cold. You don't deserve to be out in the cold. Come inside. Please, I'm sorry. I, I, I hope, please forgive me. And you're saying this to yourself. When it comes to the masculine energies, you're saying this to yourself because you're speaking to the femininity within you. No more out in the cold. Also, in terms of the surrounding energies, there is a very, very, there's very fertile energy around you right now, divine masculine. And so that also goes for the divine feminine too. But when we're talking about the divine masculine, it's like the feminine, the feminine energies are really surrounding you right now and guiding you and protecting you and helping you and nurturing you, speaking to you. And through that, you're learning to understand your intuition. Moving forward, in your second position, we have how you see how you're seeing your divine counterpart your twin okay yes but your feminine energy how are you seeing it ah aha yes the eight of pent the eight of pentacles you're doing the personal work you're rebuilding you're real you're recognizing that this actually this this femininity that you have within you is actually a, a crucial part of you a very, very important part of yourself. So you're working towards rebuilding your connection and relationship with that. Oh, oh gosh, that just, that just fills my heart with so much joy to see that card there. 
<laughs> there's really nothing else I have to say about that. So let's move forward. Um, in your fourth position, where are you in relation to union? Now, keep in mind, we're talking about where are you in relation to union with yourself for the most part here. Hell yeah, the Ten of Swords. You're done stabbing yourself in the back. You're done betraying yourself. No more out in the cold. Fuck yeah. <laughs> Again, excuse my language, but yeah. No more out in the cold. Absolutely. Go on, masculine. All right. <laughs> Next, we have what you want your twin to know. And we are talking about your, your divine counterpart, your divine feminine. What you want your twin to know right now. The Ace of Pentacles. You are saying to your counterpart, Babe, I am, I'm starting this. I'm creating this new life. I want to start fresh. I want to start new. I want to come to you from a, from a place of wholeness. I want you guys to understand that, yes, we're talking about being whole again, um, but there is there are going to be some things that are going to need to be healed moving forward in your life. You're never going to, you're never going to stop growing. You're never going to stop changing. But it's when you really have a sufficient amount of um, independence, I want to say, wholeness within yourself, that you will be able to come back into union with your twin, all right? But here, the divine masculine is saying to the divine feminine, I'm creating this life for us. And I want you to be a part of it. No matter what has happened between us in the past, I need you to know that I want you to be a part of it. You are an integral part of my life. And yeah, I, I'm i independent, you're independent, we both have our own thing going on, but that doesn't mean we're not still important pieces of each other's lives. I want us to have, I'm gonna start crying again. I want us to have this. I want us to have this. I want to give this to you. I want to do what I can to give you what you need in the material world. Because you give me so much. You give me so much in the spiritual. I want to be able to give back to you too. So I'm coming to terms with things. I'm understanding the femininity, the femininity within me so that I can have a greater understanding for you. And I know you're doing the same for me. Channeled message directly from the divine masculine to the divine feminine. Moving forward, what's crowning you? What are you facing right now, Divine Masculine? The Knight of Swords. And um, it came up reversed, but I don't think I want to read it that way. I mean, and if you look at it in the spread here, the Knight of Swords is charging towards the Empress. I want to say that the reason why it came up, now normally even if it does come up in reverse, I don't really pay attention to it unless I'm called to. And in this moment I am called to because for some of you, um, your masculine energies are no longer approaching your feminine energy energies in a reckless way. So that's why it came up with the Knight of Swords uh, in reverse. And you're kind of, um, because you see here, you see how it's charging towards the Empress? Instead of being reckless about it, <clears throat> yes, they're 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 using their mental capacities, but they're using it in a much wiser state. They're still a knight. They're not quite the king yet, but they're not as reckless about it in some cases. In most cases, I want to say, they're starting to understand how that recklessness in the past was only just going to be destructive. So I want to leave this. I want to leave this reversed. No more reckless nature is what I'm hearing. Finally, oh, your hidden energies. <laughs> what? Strength. Hallelujah. For some of you, it's hidden because you're not really aware of how strong you are. But for the most part, it's not really meant to be hidden. It's just... You have tapped into your well of strength. And you do the more, and it's funny because the more you balance yourselves, the, guys, the more we balance ourselves. Now I'm talking to both divine feminine and divine masculine here. The more we balance ourselves, 
the more strength we have um, access to, the more abundance we have access to. And for the divine masculine, you are coming to this understanding, this realization that this reckless energy was not going to benefit anybody through your well of strength. You have, you're, 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 you, you're um, embodying the strength right now to see things wise in a much wiser frame of mind. Mm -hmm. Excellent guys. I mean, excellence on both ends, both masculine and feminine, feminine. And I just love, I just love, wait, I want to see, is this still here? Five of Wands, where, oh, and the lovers, Lord have mercy. <laughs> but here, I mean, here we go. The feminine's got the sun, the masculine's got the moon. We're balancing each other out. We're working together here is what I'm picking up, both within and without. And that's beautiful, guys. So beautiful. All right, let's get some oracle guidance. Let's get us some oracle guidance here. Let me just shuffle this up a little bit. So I'm gonna do some crystal mandala oracle and some light worker oracle. Yeah. Ooh, the tower just shot out. This is an overall message because I know I was doing the um, the uh, divine masculine in this deck, but that is over. And when the tower came out, oh, the tower and the six of wands and justice. All right. So this is a bit of a bonus. This is an extra message that's coming through for both twins. Okay. Lightning is striking. For and, uh, and actually, there is a heavier message for the Divine Feminine. Divine Feminine, your tower moment right now is you realizing that you need to do, uh, you really do need to do a balancing within yourself. You need to come into terms, greater terms with your masculinity. You need to come to terms with the fact that you got to let go of your twin. You need to come to terms to the, with the fact that letting go is not the end. Why? because you have justice and the six of wands here. Victory will come from this. Justice will be served. Balance will come to be. And look, you've got the, you see, there's the magician popping up for you. Balance will come to be. Justice will be served, but you must detach. You must detach and learn to manifest your life for yourself. And if you already know how to do it, the universe is saying, Honey, get to it. <laughs> get to it. And for the masculine, Lord knows you've been in that tower energy for the longest time, don't you? <laughs> I know it. I know. You're like, damn, how can I forget? Universe won't let me forget. You're damn right the universe won't let you forget. <laughs> but you know, the message is the same. I just feel like Divine Masculines are having an a, a easier time accepting this right now. Maybe because they've been in the tower energy for so long. Who knows? And the message, yeah, the message is for both, but it's a little heavier on the feminine side. The universe is really stressing this. Come on, ladies and gentlemen. You can do it. I promise. Remember, the sun is still shining. The sun is shining. Allow the sun to illuminate. Stop fighting it. Go with the flow. I'm going to honestly, I'm going to say to you right now, I'm starting to see separation as a blessing, such a blessing, because let me tell you, man, when these triggers come up, I am a mess, y'all. I don't even know how my twin would handle, would deal with it. Like, I'd be afraid. I'm kind of afraid for him. <laughs> Because, honey, these triggers sometimes, man, there's something else. So I'm really glad that I have this time to just work on this by myself. Now, granted, do I feel like it would be a lot easier to have him there to help pick me up, <laughs> pick all the pieces up? <laughs> you know, sure. 
but honestly, that's not his responsibility. Yeah, I mean, I want to be a support system too. I want to be there for him too. I want to help him help pick him up when he's broken down. But ultimately, it's my responsibility to pick up the pieces, to 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 replace the fragments, to rebuild the fragments. That's my responsibility. I would love to have him around as a support system right now. But I need to be my own support system. And so do you. I need to learn to handle this stuff on my own, to be my own best friend, to be my own advocate, to serve myself my own damn justice, <laughs> you know? To be my own advocate for my own justice. And the universe is asking you all to do the same. All right? Because victory will come of it. You will be victorious. And you will be recognized. You will, your twin will see it. And it in turn will inspire them. The whole world around you will see it. And be like, damn, how'd you get so strong? I did my work. I served myself my own justice. I created the life I wanted. And I didn't tell nobody, I didn't let nobody tell me what to do. Tell me what to create. Tell me who I should be. Fuck that. Excuse my language. This is your life. Live it. Be your own advocate. Okay, I'm going to get off the soapbox. <laughs> but that is the tower moment that's happening right now. All right? Ooh, that, that did not want to go away. So I'm going to leave it out. Um, I tried to put it back on the deck, and it just didn't want to do it. So I'm going to leave it right here with my rose quartz crystal because the tower moment is just serving us to be just serving us to be able to experience greater unconditional love yes we're not being punished please don't think you're being punished but the universe is kind of stepping in and saying all right look i'm just gonna do this for you <laughs> you know i'm just gonna uproot this so you can just do it and get it over with <laughs> all right so spirit please bring forth the best messages for the Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine, the Twin Flame Collective, for this week, March 5th through the 11th. Thank you so much, Spirit. I'll give it one more shuffle. All right, Spirit, best messages, please. One, no, that's it. Okay, just one message. Card number 15, Archangel Raphael and Malachite. <clears throat> Grace for the grand gesture. Beautiful. A lot of healing, guys. A whole lot of healing. Um, this, to me, the channeled message I'm getting here, this is talking about um, the first thing I thought of when I saw a grand gesture was reaching back out to each other. The grand gesture being the reconciliation between twins. And what this card is telling me is that Archangel Raphael is here helping us heal our hearts so that we can move forward with that gesture. So that we can move forward towards our twin with grace and dignity also is what I'm hearing. All of this balancing, all of this healing is happening so that we can look we know we i keep saying a lot of other readers and guides twin flame guides are saying are preaching or really are really pushing this message of needing to detach but we're only saying it because we love you and we know that you need to detach so that you can accept this healing energy that the universe is trying to bring forward for you and we're saying this 
because yes, we know we do ultimately, yeah, we want to reach union. We want to be with our twins. I mean, sometimes, yeah, sometimes it is physically painful not being in union with them. But you need to understand that the really the best way, to, the only way to reach them at this point is to separate so that you can accept the healing energy that the universe is trying to give you so that you can move forward towards them. So that in the, in the divine masculine's case, you can find the courage to reach out. Because in many cases, yes, you do need to be the one to reach out now and initiate this reconciliation. And in terms of the divine feminine, you will be able to accept this offer without resentment, without hurt, without pain, without holding on to what happened in the past. But first you've got to heal. You've got to heal all that stuff first before you can even think about being able to accept anything that the divine masculine wants to bring for you. Yeah? Okay. Now, finally, we're going to bring close. I'm going to pull some messages from the uh, Lightworker Oracle deck. So, Spirit, please bring forward the best message for the Twin Flames from the Lightworker Oracle in relation to this message for this week, or this reading, excuse me, for this week, March 5th through the 11th. Thank you so much, Spirit. Thank you so much for guiding us and for loving us and for trying so hard to heal us. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. They just said, we love you guys. We really do. They're also telling me my twin loves me too. That's great. Thanks. <laughs> your twins love you, everyone. And you love your twins. Okay. So if some of you are out there saying, well, I don't love them. Bitch, please. Yes, you do. <laughs> Oh, even though it may be hard to love them sometimes. You do. All right, last shuffle. Best message for it. It's this one? Yes, it's this one. Dark Angel. Hmm. Okay, I do want to go to the book for this. Because I'm not so familiar with this card. Card number 30. The dark angel comes to you with a radical truth. Divine love, divine love is always there for you without exception. Love will never forget you. It will never stop caring for you, even when it seems most unlikely. In fact, especially then. The divine is reaching for you and nurturing you. Even our wounds are ways that we can discover love and divine grace through the healing process. The divine is always helping you remember who you are and find your true joy. When the dark angel appears, you are be being given a gift of light, even if, it may be, even if it may seem to be a hidden blessing. That is so true. Okay, there's this one paragraph I want to read because it's really speak. This this card is really speaking to the fact that a lot of us are like bemoaning or dreading this this need for detachment, and we're seeing it as um, in some cases it's being seen as punishment. In some cases it's being seen as the end of the relationship between you and your twin. But it really is a blessing in disguise. Like I was saying before, it's it's really the best thing for us right now. OK, so I want to read this. Does unconditional trust mean that you give up, give things up? I'm sorry. Does unconditional trust mean that you give up if things get tough, assuming it's, quote, not meant to be? Of course not. Relying on unconditional trust and understanding the dark mystery, you are willing to go through periods of not knowing. You are willing to continue on your path, even when you are not seeing immediate results, because your heart no, in your heart, you know it's right. This type of trust is powerful enough to release any separation between you and the universe. And that's really what we're trying to do right now. I mean, we, we need to, um, I said this 
<clears throat> I said this in my my reading on Thursday that I posted, and I'm gonna I'm gonna share it say it again, and I'm gonna share the video again. But um, Indigo Moon's Twin Flame Healing is someone that I really follow. I really resonate with. She is a Twin Flame guide, and the reason most of the reason why I'm really pushing this message of separate of, of detachment is because she's really pushing this message of detachment, and it's really really resonating. I feel like it, and she was saying how it's um, it's a message she got for her. And then she realized that she needed to bring it to the rest of the collective. So I'm doing my part in trying to bring it to the collective too. But um, uh, the other thing that she was saying is realizing that this relationship that we want with our twins is really the relationship that we have with the divine. And what we're being asked to do while detaching is working on that relationship with the divine connecting deeper to the divine in that way, connecting more to that relation with that relationship. And that ultimately will help facilitate um, your relationship with your twin. So then when this card is saying this type of trust is powerful enough to release any separation between you and the universe. 55, 55 on the counter, ha ha ha. Between you and the universe, you and the divine. You know that even when the universe guides you into challenging territory, you shall benefit grow in divine power and become the amazing being you are destined to be. All right, guys. So there it is. I had a feeling this video was going to be an hour long and look at that. <laughs> We're at 56 minutes on the counter. I love you guys. I hope this was helpful. Um, again, if you, if this was, res if this resonated with you and you want to make a, an energetic donation, or an, yeah, a donation or an energetic exchange, please, you, I would be gratefully appreciative. Um, the information is for that in, in the box below. I am going to leave a link for this video that I mentioned, again, in the description box below. I highly recommend that you guys check it out if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, if you want a personal reading with me, all the information is in the description box below. All right, I love you all. I hope you have a great week and, um, I will see you guys soon. Yeah? Take care. Bye.